Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I filmed a bunch of videos. <laughs> but anyways, today is episode, I think, 126 of No Catch Your Name. So I do have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh no, I have five finished objects. Yeah, <laughs> I counted the wrong thing. And I have a couple whips. Nothing much to show you in the whips wise except the blanket. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I got some amigurumis to show you. I'll have to insert some clips that I took of two of them because, uh, since I made them, I already put them on my Etsy shop and they've already sold. And they, one of them got sent off yesterday and one's sitting over here in a pile of bags that I have to, um, ship off. Right there, you see them? <laughs> Tomorrow, because I had them sh set to ship today, which is Wednesday when I'm filming this. It'll be, I think, Friday when you see this. But it's Veterans Day, so I forgot that today's Veterans Day. I don't know why I was thinking it was the other day already. I think because our town had the parade. But, um, anyways, post office is closed. <laughs> so it's sitting over there waiting to go out tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to insert clips of those when I talk about them. So my first finished object was another itty bitty kitty. I made two of those uh, last week, an orange one and a multicolor one. And both of those sold in my shop, too. They're already in the mail, I think. Um, so I made this other one out of just brown. I think it's uh, Red Heart Super Saver Cafe Latte. And uh, it's just as cute as the other two. Super easy pattern. It's a free pattern. And it is available by Thorsby Cottage. It's, uh, I'll link all the links in the description box below. And they have a Christmas one too. A cat pattern with a little Christmas hat on. But it's super cute and easy and quick. I just made it uh, watching TV. And um, I'll probably make some more of those before uh, before it's over with because I really enjoy making quick amigurumis like that. It's just fun to fill in space. <laughs> uh, the next item that I finished and sold was my sh little strawberry. <laughs> well, I guess it should say little strawberry because it's a bear, but it's a strawberry. Anyways, I'll insert a clip of it also. I got it as uh, a little free pattern from Lisa from Happy to Hook Crochet Creations. Happy to Hook Creations. She sent me a little... Um, envelope full of just little patterns and we patterns and that was one of them i did make it with worsted weight yarn and a slightly larger hook it called for i think um dk yarn and like a b hook i used an elf hook because my favorite hook to use with worsted weight for amigurumi but uh, i also was able to find it online so i'll link that below it's from little yarn friends and it's a super cute pattern um i think it turned out adorable it came out super cute and like i said it's already also been purchased so it's it's I can't remember if I shipped it yesterday or if it's over there. I think I shipped it yesterday. Um, so those are the two that I finished that I can't show you in person. <laughs> so now I do have three more finished objects that I can show you in person. Two of them are the same thing. These are the little Among Us characters from a game. It's, uh, I don't know much about it because I don't play it. But Devin and Jesse play it and I've seen Jesse watching videos of it. But basically you're these little characters and there's a whole bunch of them. And one of them's a bad guy. And you, the bad guy has to sneak around and try to kill the other ones without the other ones finding out that it's them. So these are their little characters. So I made two so far. I have to make eight in total. So i got to make two blue, two red, two green, and two orange ones. They're just little guys in like spacesuits. <laughs> and um, this pattern is a free pattern that I, I was actually sent. My sister sent it to me. And it is it's written in Spanish, but you can Google translate it. And it is readable pretty easily if you are, are used to amigurumi you can translate it and plus there's a ton of these patterns out there I've seen a ton of them I just like this one because the size it comes out some of them come out really small and I thought this was a nice size for kids to play with but um, it's called Among Us and it's by crochet amigurumis and I will write that down in the description but uh, I just Google translated it and it was pretty readable there was a few things that didn't translate right but I was able to figure it out just by, um, you know, just knowing how amigurumi are built normally. So yeah, these are made with, these two are made with paint box scraps that I was gifted by, I think, Carla. And uh, I don't know the colorways or anything. It's just blue and red. <laughs> and the eye pieces are made out of red heart, uh, black, light blue, and white. The little shiny part of the thing. So these are two, so I have six more to make. And um, the other blue and red one will be red heart because this used up the scraps that I had of this yarn so all the rest of them will be made with red heart I already have them pulled out and um, I'm gonna be working on this I'll probably work on another one today <laughs> they don't really take me that long they take maybe two hours of crochet time in total 
And I went ahead and made all the little eye pieces and I might go ahead and make all the little backpacks and then I can start the little bodies. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I like doing stuff in assembly line style because it just it seems like it moves faster for me, but I don't know. The next finished object, my last finished object, is a new pattern by Olive at stringyding stringy ding ding dot com. She has some of the cutest amigurumi patterns ever, and she offers every one of them for free on her blog. It just has ads and stuff, and then you can, if you don't want the ads, you can um, purchase the PDFs, and all of her PDFs are only a dollar ninety nine, unless it's a PDF that has multiple patterns in it but um which is super reasonably priced she also has a membership um program thing <laughs> i'm not good at like advertising but i joined it the day it came out because it's so cool and um it's been about a month and a half since it was released and on it there's a forum that you know we can all all of us members can talk about our whips and our finished objects and they there's even like a recipe and a pet section and just all kinds of little sections for us to, to just chat and get to know each other and um she also, every month she gives out a free uh, coupon code to pick out one of her patterns for free. And her new patterns, when she releases them, the you're, if you're a member, you get that for free. So this is one of the ones that I got for free, the PDF of it. And she also is doing a crochet along um, through, I'm not, I can't remember exactly. Through sometime in December, the beginning, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> but um, to make this pattern, and then share your finished object in the forum and then you can get entered into a giveaway for a hundred dollar gift card to the crafty store of your choice i guess the one that's more local to you so that's really cool of course i wanted to enter that it's only one entry per person you can make a ton of these if you want and enter it i think you can actually make you can make any of her crochet christmas patterns and she's she had put out a bunch last year and then she put up a new set this year so there's a bunch to choose from really cute ones and um I mean, why not? I mean, you could try to win $100. That's <laughs> $100 worth of yarn or fabric or whatever. But anyways, here it is. <laughs> I made the Christmas tree that she just put out. It's really cute. I wish I had had a slightly lighter color. The only color is green I really have right now. I have a frosty green. And then I have this dark, um, I think it's called dark green. And then I also have a ton of spring green. But I wish I had a color that was in between spring green and this. Like a medium top green. But this is all I had on hand. And it was a scrap ball. So I made the tree with... Um, I think it's called dark green it might be hunter green and then white super saver and this is like uh pale yellow it's pillar and i think it's actually um like cornmeal or something to do with corn <laughs> it's pillar in real life than it is showing on the camera and then i have big safety eyes down there i think they're uh 12 millimeter and then up here is like um like a three millimeter i don't know really small <laughs> But it's a super quick pattern. I made this, I, I like watching the show by Leah Remini, have, I think it's how you name, about Scientology. <laughs> and I, I made this while watching an episode of that. So um, you make the tree, you start at the top, and you go down. And then the little um, limbs are separate, and the star is two pieces that you put together. Super easy. There's cardboard on the bottom, but there's also an option in the pattern to add a stump. I just wanted it to be able to sit flat. Cause I'll probably use it as decoration on one of my shelves or something. <laughs> I don't know. I just wish it was a different color green because I feel like this is almost too dark to go with my kind of decor <laughs> for Christmas. Actually, my Christmas decorations are all over the place. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, I just, if I make another one, I want to make it a different green. A lighter green, but not like spring green light. Just kind of in the middle there. I need to go yarn shopping. <laughs> but I think it's so cute. It's got fiber fill in it, but not a whole lot. You don't have to super stuff it especially if it's going to just be a decoration but the cardboard makes it perfectly flat so it can just sit perfect you know i love it it's super cute really quick and like i said i made it in an episode and those episodes are like 40 something minutes long because they don't have commercials you know super cute i already had the safety eyes on hand I, they're actually all right here <laughs> and um yeah i think it's adorable every every pattern she puts out is adorable i love her patterns so much <laughs> i'd love to make all of them i just don't have the time but I wanted to make this because it was the new pattern and, you know, I could enter to try to win $100. So who, who would not want to do that? But I will leave the information for her uh, membership and all that and for the crochet along in the description box below. So definitely check it out because um, it's it's fun. It's fun to have. It's it's like, a, you know, like I know there's a Facebook groups and all that. But and they're 
but the membership thing, it's like a smaller group of people. It's more like intimate, you know? You can actually, I don't know how to say this without being, you know, without sounding weird. It's just fun to have like a separate little group where it's just, you know, a few people that you get to know. But of course, it could grow at any moment, you know? The more she does it and the more uh, people talk about it, the more it's gonna grow. But it's just fun. I used to love doing membership forms. Like, um, I don't know, in the early 2000s. <laughs> that was like the thing, you know, before Facebook and all that was like the big things. You had like Messenger, Yahoo Messenger and AOL and all that stuff. MSN. <laughs> and then you had forms, which were fun. You know, I remember ever since I was like a kid, 10, 11, I was on all kinds of forms. Just um, mostly because I've always had it like in my mind that I was going to be a housewife. Like, you know, it's just what I always wanted to be. I wanted to stay home and take care of kids and my husband and the house. And I know some people think that's like oppression or whatever, but I enjoy it. <laughs> Anyways, let's not talk about that. So ever since I was a kid, I've always went to stuff like that. And there was one that was really big and it was called um, the Christian Homemaker form or something like that and I got to I actually got to know a lot of older ladies which was nice I mean older than me not like old ladies but you know I was a kid so like women and they helped me so much learning how to do stuff that I didn't know how to do you know laundry stuff and cooking and you know just everything and also spiritual type guidance and stuff and I you know that's always in my mind you know it's always fond of memories so every time I see a forum I gravitate towards it because it just reminds me of all that those experiences so I love that there's a form there I don't post as much as I should because I'm super busy and it's like YouTube I will watch videos all day while doing stuff but I always can't go and comment because I'm watching them on TV and then I forget to go back and comment but I'm trying to get better doing that and uh, I just love the form idea it's a lot of fun I want to be more participating more and actually I'm um, planning on making a no catch a name website one day <laughs> i was gonna do it this year but it went crazy because i would like to host my own shop instead of using etsy and I, I wanted to put a forum on it actually i was looking into options earlier this year uh for websites that would allow me to host my own forum so i was you know there might be a no catch a name one in the future but anyways that's a lot to talk about this christmas tree it's so cute <laughs> i love this little pattern it's super cute um i think it'd be cute you could put, even put little ornaments on it if you wanted to you could put actual little ornaments on there or you could crochet ones or just put like a bunch of French knots in different colors all over it to look like lots. That would be cute too. There's a lot of, you know, you can do that with, you can customize it any way you want to. <laughs> but anyways, definitely go check out the um, giveaway and if it's something that's in your budget to join her membership, it's $6 a month, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to say that. Um, you know, it's worth it to uh, have the pattern access, the free pattern codes. Uh, being able to watch her t tutorial videos because she has a lot of really nice um, really detailed uh, Tutorial videos on there, and I'm sure she's gonna add more and uh, to have the community of the forum and all that stuff All that mixed together is totally worth six dollars to me. Uh, I've paid for it twice cause It's been like a month and a half. So I you know, I got it and then it billed again. So um, and I think it's totally worth it I think it's uh, I mean I got this pattern right here and I'm happy with that <laughs> and I'm happy with the friendships and um, everything but anyways, that's my finished objects. <laughs> I only have two whips, and one of them, well, I technically, technically I have seven, because I have six of those little um, Among Us guys started. I have six of their um, little goggles. I got them all crocheted. I just don't have the little, uh, the white part that looks like it's shiny. I haven't put that on there. But I went ahead and made the six of their little eyes, mostly so I could put those scrap balls back in my bucket because there was too many scrap balls in my bag. So in my bag, I have the orange, the green, the other blue, and the other red down in there to make the other little guys. Um, the only orange I have in my stash is this crazy bright orange <laughs> and uh, some like really dull, um, like burnt oranges. So they're gonna have to deal with it being crazy bright orange and not like a regular orange because I'm completely out of red heart, carrot, and pumpkin, which are my two favorite um, oranges. And I'm trying hard not to spend a lot of money on craft stuff right now, and except like fabric, because you don't have to buy fabric. But uh, I'm trying to be more picky with my yarn choices. And uh, anyways, so that's my first whip, is just those little guys. They're in there, in that bag, which I have had hanging on my little cart, but I hang it on the side so that uh, it's not in the way of all the stuff. My next whip is my six day kids blanket that i've been working on i'm making uh it with red heart super saver ombre the gray and the pink <laughs> the pink is called um sea coral i think 
and uh, yeah, sea coral. And the gray is a rock name that I can't pronounce well, so I don't even bother trying to say it. I have worked on it since um, I last showed it to you guys. I put a stitch marker. Let me pull up my slack. I put a stitch marker where it was last time I showed you, and then where it is now. So it was right there where that stitch marker is. So I've, I've finished the pink, I did the whole gray, and then I started pink again. So that's it so far. The height of it. And there's the width. I think it's looking pretty. I'm still working on the first two balls. Um, the gray and the pink, they're getting really floppy. <laughs> like here's the pink, it's really uh, floopy floppy. And when I cut it, actually when I go to switch to gray, I'm going to wind it into a ball. And then once I do another gray section, I will do that to the gray also. Because it's easier to work with actual ball of yarn than it is to work with that big floppy skein. <laughs> but I think it's coming along really pretty. It's looking really nice. I'm going to move that stitch marker now before I forget. And then you can see how it grows next time. I've been working on this a little bit. A couple of rows a morning when I first wake up and I'm in here drinking my energy <laughs> uh, water. I will... Um, watch some YouTube videos and just make a couple of rolls and then I'll get my day started doing other stuff so that's just basically my um, in-between project I like having blankets and stuff just to work on in between amigurumis and commissions and stuff it's about to have to go into a bigger bag though because it's not fitting it's like really stuffed in there uh, in my old very first zipper bag I ever made <laughs> but um, I want to make me a tote I keep making totes for the shop and uh, I keep not making them for me. I have some fabric set aside to make some totes for myself. And I might do that this weekend. I'm going shopping to Joann's tomorrow, which is Thursday. You'll see this Friday, though. So I'm going shopping yesterday <laughs> at Joann's because their doorbusters start for um, fabric sales. I have my little book up here somewhere. Haha, -ha, right here. I got this yesterday. And it's like their Black Friday type deals. I don't think it actually says that, but it's basically what it is. And I'm definitely going because all the fabric I love making bags with is going to be on sale. The cotton prints for Christmas and Harvest are on sale. The Comfy Cozy flannel, which I use sometimes. And the Keepsake Calico is on sale. All of that's half off. The flannel is 60% off. And the licensed prints, which is like um, Disney and Marvel and Peanuts, you know, all the characters like on TV shows and all that and sports teams. Is 40% off and that's really good for that because normally those are real expensive and um, they rarely go on sale like right now today they're on sale for a dollar off a yard so they're like from $16.99 they're $15.99 a yard which is a lot I don't ever spend that much on fabric I always wait till there's a sale or I can use a bunch of coupons these are all door busters so I can't use coupons on them but uh, they're really good sales also batting is on sale which I use and interfacing which I use so like I'm definitely going <laughs> It doesn't look like there's any yarn, I mean, a uh, thread on sale. But there is yarn. Big Twist Cuddle Yarn, which is re re regularly $10.99 to $13.19 each. It's a weird price. Or on sale for $5 each. And uh, Lion Brand Yarn is buy three, get two free. So that's, that's pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about that. And then later this month, towards the end of the month, um, there's more yarn sales. Red Heart Super Saver will be $2.79 each. And the novelty fa fabric, which I also use a lot, is like with the cute farm animals and stuff like that, is going to be $4.99 in the yard. That's a really good deal. I might go back there because it's normally, they're normally anywhere from like $8 to $16 a yard. So $5 a yard is really good. And again, it's doorbusters, so I can't use coupons, but um, it's still a good price. And I do have a bunch of coupons saved up. I've been saving all my 50% off ones. I got two from receipts that are still good. And I got two from the last little book. That's still good. And um, this one has a 60% off. But that's for later in the month. What's this other one? Yeah, those are $10 off your, your order of 50 or more. But I don't think that counts, doorbusters. Yeah, it, it, ex it excludes clearance and doorbusters. So I'd have to buy some regular priced or just regular sale things. But uh, I'm just happy getting that fabric that I need for bags because the next shop update uh, will be in like a week or so. And I think it's just going to be drawstring bags and maybe a few totes. The regular quilted totes because I enjoy making the totes and I enjoy making the drawstring bags. I do not like making the large zipper bags. I found that out 
with this last batch. They're pretty and I like them functionally, you know, like kind of like this one, but they were bigger and different shaped. But they're a pain in the butt to make. <laughs> I just didn't enjoy it at all. So I don't think I'm gonna make any more of those. At least not for now. I do I have a lot of people asking me to make totes with zippers in it. And I do plan on trying to do that. It's just we're so busy right now and the holidays are coming up. I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon. So I'm just going to stick to what I know, which is the regular tote bags and the drawstring bags. And I'm going to pick up some cute. I'm hoping to get some uh, licensed prints that are just regular, not holiday themed or anything. I might grab some more Christmas prints if people show interest in it. And um, I will look at that fall prints, but last time I was looking at fabric, they were already pretty much out of fall prints. But maybe they restocked. My phone's dying. But uh, I guess that's a sign that I need to wrap it up. <laughs> but um, yeah, I uh, I guess that's everything I needed to share with you guys. Because I showed you my whips and my bows. I filmed a Happy Mail video already that you, you would have already seen or you will see soon. <laughs> and uh, I did buy this little ornament today for us. It has three people, so I thought that was perfect for us. And I got a bunch of chapstick. I have to have chapstick all the time. And these are like candy flavored. I mean scented. You're not supposed to eat it. But um, I'm looking forward to this. I have to keep chapstick all the time during the winter. Because my lips just are chapped all the time. So uh, Devin said this. And he's like you need that. So I bought it. <laughs> so I could leave chapsticks laying everywhere. And use them. But yeah. I also bought a skein of yarn. It was the first yarn I bought in a long time. To make a test pattern. That I'm working on. But that'll be shown eventually. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because I gotta edit this and uh, edit two other videos that I recorded and then I'm gonna just chill because I'm taking advantage of the fact that the boys are gone for right now and I could just be alone and quiet. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.